everybody and just a quick video today this is a video of a problem that aroused in my scope cam setup and let me just take a second and I'm gonna show you what the problem is and why it happened so as many of you know this is a very popular type of scope cam mount it's the bracket that bolts right to the scope frame itself and then you have this arm piece and there's where you mount your camera very basic straightforward I did not realize that this could be a problem so I I wasn't looking for it right away and what ended up happening is I got this set up perfect okay and I left it on the gun I didn't take it off or I and I mean by that I left it on the scope I didn't take it off once I had it perfectly set up and driving the gun scope and camera mount and camera around and just leaving it on there and all those little micro vibrations let me put this down I'm going to show you here actually caused the whole camera mount to act as a giant wrench and I don't know if you can see now the scope tube right here not the magnification adjustment but the tube itself is actually torqued off and there's its little tiny set screw right there which holds it in place it torqued that out and just went awry with it so let me take this off right here quick and i can show you more about what's going on here so that's gone so right here this is what's turning right here and so I thought okay so I need to fix this so I turned it and tightened it really back down by hand and then when I went to adjust my magnification it is froze in place right now so I can't turn this and I'm trying and I'm trying hard and it's just froze at that mag you can see it turning just a bit but it's not wanting to move so basically my scope is no more and because of this issue I had to go out and buy a new one so I bought another UTG uh, 3 to 9 bug buster scope to replace my original UTG 3 to 9 bug buster scope but more importantly I realized the limitations that this scope uh, is giving me only zooming into 9 and I actually went out and purchased another scope as well a UTG 4 to 16 side wheel adjustment SWAT style scope and I'm gonna get the little wheel and this that's going to take the place of this on my marauder pistol which currently is housing my uh, atn excite night vision scope so i'm going to end up taking that off and for day hunts i'm going to use the 4 to 16 and i've got some other stuff coming in too that i'm going to show you in some different videos but just so a quick like pro tip if you're going to put your camera mount on your scope only put it on when you're going to be using and shooting it in transit is where i think it happened most certainly where it was kind of leaning against the car seat and vibrating and, and torqued my scope tube and ruined my scope so pro tip when you're about to shoot or right before you're you're setting up put it on then when you're done shooting with it, take it off. Even though if it just takes a few more extra seconds to set it up perfectly, it's worth it. It will save your scope. All right, guys. Thank you. I hope this was informative. Uh, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.